Hi, welcome to Have Yarn Creations. I'm Erin. Thank you for joining me for our snood or bun cover tutorial. So I'm going to share with you today how I make a bun cover or snood and I've got several here that I can show you. This one and this one and these two are made out of cotton. It's I love this cotton. Um, this from Hobby Lobby it's 100% cotton and it is a four weight. Recommended is a Five millimeter hook or five millimeter, five point five millimeter hook or five millimeter uh, knitting needles, and I'm not using that. I'm using a C or two point seven five, but that's the recommended is for a five point five hook. And the colorway on that one is called River Run. And on this one, which I like a whole bunch. The colorway is called Brights. That's all it is, this is Brights. And it is very bright and fun colors. Let me make it go right in on it. Can you see that? I can't get it to focus. There we go, maybe. Yeah, kind of. So um, you can see it better on the tutorial. I used this one to make the tutorial. And I've got these here, which are not cotton. They're 100% acrylic. There. And this one, which I put in my hand to do. And this colorway is Yarn B, also Hobby Lobby, and it's called Glowing. It is a recommended for a 5.5 millimeter hook. I think, hang on a second, let me see. Hang on a second. Yes, 5.5 or 4 millimeter hook, I guess, and a 5.5 knitting needles. That's kind of different. I don't think so. But anyway, it is a four weight, 100%. No, I'm sorry, it's 60% acrylic and 40% polyester. And this, I think, turns out really cool too. So, I hope you enjoy the tutorial and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bun cover or snood. I'm using this particular I Love This Cotton by Hobby Lobby. It is 100% cotton, size 4, medium weight. The recommended hook size is a 5.5 millimeter or I. Um, and the knitting needles is five millimeter. I, however, <clears throat> for this particular thing, am going way down and using a clover size C, 2.75. You will also need a hair band. So the reason why I'm using this small one is because uh, we're gonna be doing really tight. Uh, chains and double crochets. So first of all I'm going to make my, I'm rolling this because I make my uh, slip knot or magic circle. I do two around my finger, take the first one in front of the, the back one in front of the front 
and then again. Do that again and you get your slip knot. I'll use this as the magic circle. And <clears throat> I reach, put my hook into the circle, reach around and pull up a loop. We're gonna do that and chain three. One, two, and three. Now, we're going to be doing a total of 15 double crochets. This includes this chain three, so we're going to do 14 more. So I start counting at two because we've already got one. Make this really fast. Or try anyway. There we go. That's two. I need some more yarn. Sorry about that. I disappeared on you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on a second, we're going to pull this down a little bit. You can see up close, eight. Slimy. There we go. Nine. should be. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, now I'm going to pull on this and tighten it up. Okay, put that behind. Now you've noticed that I've worked in that tail. So we're going to that top of that third chain right there. Put in a slip stitch and join. Now we can pull that a little tighter now that we've joined. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that counts as the double crochet. Now we're going to chain one more for a chain in between those double crochets. Okay, so we have a total of chain four, which equals a double crochet and a chain one. And we're going to do fifth, we're going to do um, a total of 14 more. We're going to do one in each stitch. So we do double crochet and two. And chain one. Double crochet. And chain one. Now we're going to do that all the way around and that's going to be the end of row two and I'll meet you back at the other side. Okay we're coming to the end of this round and we need two more. I've got my double crochet and chain one. So this is going to be 14 and chain one and 15 and a chain one and then we're going to slip stitch to the third stitch third chain so it'll be one two and three all right and we're done with that second round so the first round the double crochets are all next to each other the second round the double crochets are one chain away from each other 
third round, they're going to be two chains. So you're going to do double crochet and chain two. But first, we need to get to the middle of this one. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain one. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to chain two for the chain two space. And then we're going to go into the space between the double crochets into the chain one space, okay? So chain two, go into the space between the two. Chain two, into the space between the two. So now we're working in the chain spaces, chain two, and into the space double crochet. Okay, and I will meet you back around here when we get to the 15th double crochet. Okay, so here we are at the end. <coughs> Excuse me, and I wanted to point out something to you. Because we're now working in the chain spaces, we have 16, just so you know. So here we are. This is actually number 16. And we're going to go into that third chain. One, two, three. Up here. Oh, silly me. I forgot to do my chain two. One, two. Now I'll go into that chain and slip stitch. Okay, and my, there we go. Now, we need to slip stitch into the middle, right? And the next round, we're going to be chaining three in between each one. So, get some more yarn. One, two, three for the double crochet, and then one, two, three for our chain three space. And we'll go into this space. Oh, I didn't do yarn over. Yarn over, that space, pull through two, pull through two to make our first double crochet of that one, our second double crochet of that round. Chain three, one, two, three, round. Chain three, next double crochet, into the space. Chain three, one, two, three. Next double crochet, into the space. Chain three. Next double crochet, into the space. Two, through two for double crochet. All right, now I will meet you back over here. Oh, whoa, way back over here for the end of this round. And this is round one, round two, this is round three. And so now we're doing round four and we have two more to do after this one. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the round and I wanted to point something else out to you. I apologize, I'll told you two more rounds after this. and. I believe there is three more rounds after this. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's uh, a total of seven rounds plus the round to attach to the hair neck. So, a total of eight. So, let's do our double crochet into this one. Chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go into that third stitch. One, two, the third chain, sorry. Okay, now we're going to slip stitch into the middle chain. So we're going to slip stitch through two stitches. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Okay, pull that up, make sure I get my hook in correctly. There we 
go. Now we're going to, oh, I think I did one too. I did that wrong. See, everybody makes mistakes. Okay, let me put this back in here. I didn't go into the third chain, I went into the fourth. So it was one, two, three. That makes a big difference in the look. Okay, now we're going to go over two. We get into the center. I like to go where I have two up there. Okay, these are kind of small too, so. All right, so we finished this round. We have to do three more of these round and of the chain three rounds. We're not, we're done with our increase. We're now gonna be um, making it, it's gonna be almost bowl shaped, okay? So we're gonna go chain three, one, two, three for our double crochet. And we're gonna chain three more. One, two, three for our chain three space. And then yarn over and double crochet into the next chain three space. Okay? We're gonna do that again. One, two, three. Yarn over into the next space. And double crochet. And chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're gonna finish this all the way around. Meet you back over here. <clears throat> And we have two more rounds of the chain three space. Okay, coming around to the end of round five, we need to chain three. One, two, three, double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to go into the third chain. One, two, three. And slip stitch. Okay, and as you can see, it's starting to get a little bowl shaped. We have, this was round five. We have round six and round seven to do it the same way. So remember, we're going to slip stitch to the center of that chain three space. Okay, now three chains, one, two, three for our double crochet, and then three for the chain three space. And double crochet into the next chain. Chain three space, sorry. Okay, there you go. We're gonna do this all the way around again, and I'll meet you back at the end. We have one more double crochet, well, chain three and then double crochet. One, two, three, double crochet into that last chain space. Chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, three. Last time to slide over, so we're going to slip stitch two stitches to get to the center of that chain three. Now this is the last row of the double crochets with chain spaces. And look, we've even got more of a bowl. See? So let's chain three. One, two, three. And then three more for the chain. One, two, three gets our chain three space going and then we're going to double crochet into the next chain three space and chain three one two three double crochet into that chain three space okay and I'll meet you back around over here when you get back around 
Okay, so we're just about finished with the last double crochet round. I need to do my last double crochet. I've already done my chain three. Into this space. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Go into the third stitch. One, two, three. That third chain and slip stitch. Now, this is where the fun starts. I wanna chain one. And then I'm going to pick up my hairband, okay, and I'm going to put it right here, right behind those chain spaces, okay, and I'm going to go back into the same stitch, I'm going to pull my yarn through and around that hairband, can you see that, let's try that again, I want to show you. I'm going to go back into that same stitch and I'm going to grab that yarn so that it's wrapped around that hairband and single crochet. Okay, now we're going to put two single crochets in each chain space and then one in each stitch. Top of the stitch, so here's and each time we're pulling that yarn around the hairband to attach the hairband. Okay, and then we're going to go into the stitch. Now I know this looks a little loosey goosey. It will st straighten out here. Okay, so we went into the stitch. Let's do single crochet around into the chain space and around into the chain space and then into the stitch. And then two into the chain space. And one into the stitch. And this is what I'm going to tell you. This hairband is obviously smaller than the top. What this is going to do is you're going to have to stretch that hairband because what it does is it's going to draw it all into the size of the hairband, okay? So we're going to do one more here, and then one makes two into that chain space, and one into the stitch, all the way around. And that hairband is going to get tighter and tighter, and you're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. Okay? Scrunch up those stitches back here. See how I'm scrunching those up? makes it easier to tie it on, so to speak. Two in the chain and space, and one in the stitch. Two in the chain space, and one in the stitch. Two in the chain space, one in the stitch. Two in the chain space, Oops. and one in the stitch. And this yarn does not normally split, it's splitting because I'm using such a small hook. Two in the chain space and one in the actual stitch. And I'm going to pull this and stretch it so that it's getting a lot closer to the same size. Two into the chain space, one into the stitch, two into the chain space, one into the stitch, two into the chain space, sorry for going off the camera a little bit there, it's starting to get more difficult. <laughs> one into the stitch, two 
to it to the chain space. We're getting really close here. One into the stitch. Two into the chain space. to the stitch, last two chain spaces, okay, somehow that got hooked up there, pull that out, there we go. Now, I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. Again, I'll cut this off and we will be done. There you are. Make sure when you're weaving in your ends, you've already done one, but make sure you go back. I pick up a stitch and go back and then go back again. That gives me three ways and it doesn't pull out that way. Okay, and you'll do the same thing up here. But there you go. I really like this yarn, but now you have a snood or a bun cover. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial for my snood or bun cover for today. Uh, if you remember to, please share, hit subscribe if you haven't already, uh, or hit the, the thumbs up for sure. I'd appreciate it. And if you have yarn, be creative.